All right, class, you've made it to the last lesson about the distributive property, Unit 6, Lesson 7. We're still working on the I can statement of I can draw a diagram of a product expression to write the equivalent sum expression. In class, we're going to give you a lot more time to try some problems on your own. So each slide is going to look a lot like this. Up at the top, it says select all the expressions that are equivalent to the given product expression. So the given product expression is right over here. So we're going to draw out that expression and then figure out which one of these five on the bottom matches that product expression. All right, so we're going to go pretty quick because you've seen this a bunch of times. That six out in front is the width. I'm gonna put a six here, right? That immediately means I'm gonna split this rectangle into six parts. Five, six, all right. Then I'm gonna look inside the parentheses, and when I look inside the parentheses, I can find the length. Two plus four z's. So remember that plus is hanging out right here on top of that line that splits. So in front there's a two and behind there is four z's. All right so that means inside each of these parts below the two I need to actually write a two. I have to get a little bit smaller then. So here we go. Two, 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 two. So I could write out two plus two plus two plus two plus two, or the shortcut is to say six times two, and that is the same as the number 12. Great. Now I'm going to look at 4z. All right. That means each section, section is going to have four z's. So z, 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 Just remember that those are Z's and not twos. Pluses, pluses. Wow, this is taking a really long time. I bet there's a shorter way to write out all of these Z's. But here's what I notice. I notice that I have the same thing over and over and over and over again. I can see six times, so that's each row. So here it is, first time, the second time, the, whoops, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time. Six times I can see groups of 4z, so there's 6 times 4z, and let's see, I can see that all together, the shortcuttiest way to write that is to say I have 24 z's. All together I have 24 z's. Okay, so we're going to compare our work to these options down below. So here's the first one. It says 62 plus 64 z's. So let's take a look back here. We got the number 12 and 24 Z's. So 62 plus 64 Z doesn't make much sense at all. If we go back to the original problem, six times the quantity, two plus four Z, you can start to see where this answer might have come from. Here's a two, two, four Z, 4z, you can see that 6 got shoved in front of both a 2 and a 4z, right? So don't get tricked on that. Easy to do, right? So A does not make sense. We're going to get rid of that one. Okay. B said 12 plus, zoom out, 12 plus 4z. So they got the 12 right. The 12 matches, but it says 4z, and this says 24z. So B doesn't make sense. All right. Let's take a look at C. C says 6 times 2. Yep, that was up here. Remember we had 6 repeats of 2. 
But then it says just four more z's. But take a look, we had 24 z's. So again, that four z doesn't make sense. All right, we're whipping through these options. How about d? d says six times two, six times two. Yeah, here it is right there, six times two. And six times four z. Yep, there it was right there, six times four z. D makes sense. When we get into class, what you're going to do when you find an answer that makes sense is you're going to circle it. And that letter down below is going to help you with a riddle, right? Um, so there's still one more option. Let's just double check how that last one's doing here. So it says 12. Oh yeah, hey look, there's 12. And 24 Zs. Yep, there's 24 Zs. So that means E is right as well. E is another way to write the sum expression. Remember, these are both sum expressions because they have a plus. They're connected by a plus. They are the equivalent form of 6. Whoa, let's try that one more time, Mrs. Toilo. That one is way too thick. 6 times in parentheses, two plus four Z. These two ways say the same thing as six times parentheses, two plus four Z. Now, in class, one more time, these letters down below, the D and the E, the D and the E are going to help spell out a, a probably an answer to a riddle. I haven't written it yet, but probably an answer to a riddle, right? But not these D and E. When you get the answer in class, it will help spell out an answer.